Hello, my name is Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today is how to cull individual meshes inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it uh, helps me know that I'm going in the correct direction and you like the content. So, what culling is, is essentially, is you'll see it in computer games where you get um, things pop in and out, and what it does is it helps the overall performance of a game. Now, with Unreal Engine 5 and things like Nanite and... Um, uh, uh, other other performance uh, increases within Unreal Engine 5. This not necessarily applied as much um, from what I understand, um, but I always think it's good to know these things just in case that, you know, you do need to use them. So an example is if I've got my table here. Now, if I drag the camera out, the table will disappear. Now, I've applied a culling, so the closer the camera gets, it pops in. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply this to the chair. Now there are two ways of doing this. I'll show in another video how to do uh, the other method. Uh, the other method means you what you do is you encompass the whole scene in a sort of volume, a box essentially, and then you can control everything inside that box. Um, it's very quick to do. Um, I use this as if I can't quite get the settings that I want and uh, um, I have to then go in and individually force exactly what I want. Um, so what we're going to do is say click on the mesh over the right hand side here. Um, scroll down to a lot and apply to the desired max draw distance our value. So we'll put a thousand. Now what will happen initially is you will need to hit G on the keyboard for game mode. So if you see, if, if I pull away here, nothing happens, but if I hit G, they disappear. So um, you can see here that that's applied. Um, so straight away, that's a, a very simple way, an easy way to um, control uh, an individual asset. You can also exclude things like this uh, this uh, asset from things like the cull distance volume that I'll show in other two tools. And um, you can have, you know, there's, there's other little settings here, but that's generally the one I use is the, the desired max draw distance. Now, what we can do is if we create a blueprint, um, we'll name it cube, just drag that into the scene and drop down um, over here, add, hit cube, type cube, sorry. And I'm just going to position this so it's on the grid. And we're going to hit compile. So our cube should be in the scene. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to apply exactly the same principle that we did on that, but within this blueprint. So make sure you've got your mesh selected. So this is say this could be anything. This could be a table, a cat, a dog, whatever. So we'll click on the cube. We're looking for a log down the right-hand side again. And we'll type in uh, 700 this time. So press Enter, compile, save. So what that will do is exactly the same as before. But what we can do is if we drag this out, uh, this is obviously a very rough example, and it's a good example I feel to show as well. So we've got loads of duplicates here. So what happens is when I hit G on the keyboard, you'll see the ones in the in the distance aren't showing, and you can see now the, the principles of like game popping and things like that. Um, so the benefits of using a blueprint is that say well we want to be able to see these cubes a bit further so we can go into the blueprint select our cube go down to our draw distance and say well we want them to be 1000 so we'll hit enter and you can see straight away there now we're seeing more the reason that this is handy is because you're only having to do it to one thing you're not having to do it to each individual like before imagine if you had a hundred of these chairs scattered out everywhere and you have to go to each chair set the value set you know uh, the cull volume uh, cull distance things like that whereas with a blueprint you just do it to one thing and you could have like a hundred of these scattered throughout the scene you don't have to worry about it it's done it the exactly the same value to everything so yeah that's um the basics of basically um, individual mesh culling and hope you found this uh, useful cheers